Merry Christmas! My name is David and I'm the pastor here at Walden Community Church in Montgomery, Texas. And through the month of December, we are looking at the 12 days of Christmas as our December devotional. Now, I'm sure most of us know the 12 days of Christmas as a song, but perhaps it was first used as a memory and forfeit game played at Christmas. What's a memory and forfeit game? Well, this would be a game that was played with members in a circle facing each other. The lead person, the first person, would start with a partridge in a pear tree, and then it would move around the circle, and each person would have to say the next verse, getting faster and faster and faster, hoping that as it went back down the line, people would remember all the additional verses. And if anybody made a mistake, they would have to drop out of the game, and the last person standing is the winner. Today, we are at day 11. And day 11 takes us to 11 pipers piping. What could 11 pipers piping symbolize? Well, in the Christian faith, the 11 pipers who pipe are the disciples. Now this sounds like a trick question because in your mind you're thinking, well, wait, there's 12 disciples. Yes, that is true. But after Judas's betrayal, there were only 11. And when Jesus gives them the Great Commission to go out into the world, we have 11 disciples. And they are examples of how every Christian must remain faithful to Jesus and his church. Traditionally, in the song, the piper would have been a royal piper, a member of the king's court. The piper plays bagpipes and would be the one who herald, made announcements, or who would play a song at the king's request. The 11 disciples are also the king's pipers. You know, Jesus appeared to them after his resurrection, breathing upon them his Holy Spirit and giving them the command to baptize and to teach everyone the things that he has commanded. Merry Christmas.